I'm Robbie, and hiking is my hobby. In this video, watch me cross the Pyrenees from Andorra to Spain while I'm on my way to Barcelona. As I cross the variated mountain landscape and overcome several challenges with just a backpack and a weak time to get to Barcelona. Let's get into it. So I'm climbing already for I think an hour or something and now I'm at this road and I don't I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go this way or that way it came from there but my compass says this is the south so I think I should go this way let's see So the sun is setting, but I found this one, I'm gonna have to go to the Pret Primer. So that is that beautiful way. So I've been walking for the last two hours on this mountain path in the dark and uh, it's something else, it's kind of scary in a way, but I'm almost there. So that was uh, three hours walking in the dark, I've never done it before and I don't like it really, but I, was, I wanted to get up here because I didn't want to start my morning with uh, an uphill hike and this view when I wake up man is so gonna be so amazing you can see the walls here but I've got beds here this is like a, a like a resort for hikers a resort like a some kind of ski hut just a, a stone hut with some beds in it not even a mattress or something I'm gonna have to put that down myself I'll show you when it's light outside so I showed you in the dark. <laughs> Let's let me show you how it looks in the light. So I came from all the way down there somewhere. But I want to go up there still. A little bit of cooking. Thanks Prosper. Now, let's see if I can get it full before I want to go back up. Okay, time for day two. This, uh, this is kind of steep, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm almost at the top now. 
Man, my backpack is starting to get heavy in this part. This is the steepest part I've done yet. Luckily, I'm with sunlight now. This is it. I'm almost at the summit. Whoa, man. You might not feel it, but working in 30, 35 degrees, 30 plus degrees, and walking through the mountains in 20 degrees is a big difference. And while walking, it's kind of warm, but if you sit still, doing my fast. Now, this tells me there's a refuge nearby, half hour walk. I can see that. It's right there, down, down there. But that route goes that way, and I need to go that way. And I can't stand that there's two, two rocks standing over me, so time to explore a little bit. Now let's check the other side, just for the views. Wow. Look at that. The cloud decided to come over the mountain. From this point on it's getting a little difficult because we're we're looking at the south right now but this doesn't look manageable with a backpack so I found a route it goes down there it goes around here and it goes around that mountain now I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take that one because there's usually there's signs there's none and my internet is uh, bleeped out so it's a uh, gonna be a guess that is where I came from maybe you can still see the house up there in the middle that's where I came from but the view there looks very promising Scenery keeps changing. There's a nice difference from the northern part of, of France, which was basically just Teletubby land. Now it changes from valley to hill to mountain, like a, a valley to mountainside to forest. Ah, that's good, man. I want to keep filming everything, but I need to save my battery. But still, I want to take all it, it all on camera. This is such a nice view, man. I'm so happy to be here, although my my is uh, kind of heavy and I uh, have to take rest about every 10 minutes. I just sit down for like a two minutes and then I walk again, but I wouldn't want to miss this in the world, man. <laughs> so, so I had to go all the way back down here because I forgot my phone charger. Not a smart thing to do. The uh, the attachment broke and I didn't notice because it was a place I sat down I'm just happy it didn't happen in the in the, the flow of water there because I would never be able to find it again still dry thank god literally not so bad walking this again without bag I'm speaking the truth when I say could leave me here for days and I would be happy and content but I have a mission I need to go to Spain and it's not far away 
First, let me see if I can find a, the next uh, cabin to to take the night in. It's gonna be fun. The dangers of hiking on your own is losing the way. I think that patch over there is my road. This is beautiful, but this is not a way to go. Uh, let's check down there. That down there looks like looks like the path. Now I need to find a way down there. This is uh, a question of be careful. What am I doing holding my camera in one hand then? Nope. This is a water stream. Made it down safely, but I think I'm gonna have to go there. This is gonna be a hard one. I'm on the right track. Let's hope. That pole means I'm at least on the right track. Let's uh, climb. If anybody knows what this is, like it's green all around and then here it's mud with stones let me know in the comments please because I have no clue this kind of looks like the area to fight a, a boss battle or something what's this? Not sure if you can see it, but there's some sort of dog-like animal. I'm not sure if it's a wolf or a, or a something else. A fox maybe. It's a little big for a fox. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it running. What are those things? You can see them right on, on the rock there. I'm gonna pass them anyway up there. Maybe you can see them up close. Might not be the best idea, but I have to go there anyway. Um, I'm not sure how the, the animals are called in English. Washing bear, I think. It looks like a bear from up here. But a small one. You can see it move. Right. Uh, there. In that, that structure there. Like, hold up. Yesterday, I was behind that mountain. I climbed all the way down there and up here. I'm gonna take one last look at Andorra. Because on the other side of this hill is Spain. I wanna go to Spain, but I've enjoyed walking around here a lot. I want to remember. Right now, I'm looking at Spain. And this is just as beautiful as the other side. I'm so happy. Immediately I noticed difference between Spain and Andorra. Andorra is a very, very rich country, of course. And the roads are nicely kept. Now I just have to find a way down here without falling. Yeah, no, that that works. Okay, that's better. Right before it's dark, this is the cabin, but there's a car there, so let's see what's going on there. So there was a house from someone and it was also a, like a refuge for uh, hikers but you could rent a room um but she pointed me to a, to another one like 30 minutes away i guess it's nice to have a little night time again this time it's not this far
So I came from in between those two mountains and uh, the lady in the first building sent me to a second building. In the second building there were people there, it looked like they lived there. So I walked on, I walked on, I walked on, I walked on. This one isn't open but it had a nice corridor where I could stay and put my stuff and be out of the wind. I had a, a decent amount of sleep this night. Hey cow! Hey cow! Hello! Hi Beesje! Hi! Hi! My legs are so tired, but still, this is so worth it. Looking at this, Mother Nature, man, so beautiful. These cows are just as afraid of me as the women of my age. That's a joke. Oh, dude, this is insane. Say the grass looks greener on the other side, but it looks pretty green to me. If the cows can do it, so can I. Ooh, that cracked. I took this spot right here to take a break, have some lunch, care for my feet. But now it's time to get back on the road and try to find some place to sleep tonight. This looks like uh, something for electricity. And then if I look up there, see a yellow machine of some kind. Looks like I'm getting back to the inhabited world again. Great. Don't sink in, don't sink in. And I want to get stuck here. And I'm kind of heavy. Lucky stick. My, my walking stick saved the day. Electricity lines. Farming ground. Yep, I'm definitely getting close to the habited world. People. I was behind those mountains somewhere, looking at that from a different angle. This asphalt is kissing my feet right now, you cannot imagine. Man, I did not, not expect me to ever think or say that, but it feels like my feet are being kissed by hard concrete. Man, it's nice to walk straight for once. Here we see a wide view. And I, uh, I kind of want to go there. I don't know if I have enough days because I need to be. Let's see, it's six, in six days I need to be in Barcelona. I have an appointment, but uh, let's see if we can find some willing people to take me with uh, in their car. You see, in the, in the Netherlands it's like flat, and you have the sky and you have the ground. Here, your world has walls. Last time I walked this amount, I uh, ended up with a jumper's knee. But I have a little less baggage on my back now. It's a little lighter than it was before. And I have my walking stick, which I, me and my uncle made an adjustment to it so it fitted my size. Thanks, Hein. It's, uh, it's gonna be a real help. And uh, my trick now is just to stop once every 
like hour or two and let my feet rest like get them out of the shoes and just rest them and I think this time it's gonna be fine that is a big rock big rock now would you look at that it's pretty far away but it's like the sixth like uh, variants of uh, landscape I see now this is the first village for me in uh, three days So this is where I'm going to sleep tonight. Some people from this village pointed me a place that was here. It's dry, out of the wind. I think it's gonna be here. Nice. This is the village I sleep this night and uh, the people that gave me some drinks and a nice conversation and one guy offered me a lift. Old monument and something like that. I'm uh, making YouTube videos. This guy actually had a real cool story. Uh, one of his relatives uh, uh, before his time worked in the Black Sea during the USSR takeover and he was on a boat while they took him the boat over and he was originally from Norway so he walked and worked his way back to Norway you can imagine I feel a deep respect for that relative of him How to pay with small coins. So I'm eating right now. I'm sitting in a nice, uh, nice play, place here. But uh, I can make a fire here, of course. But I got these protein bars. Thanks, Sander. So they're gonna be a help right now. I don't know if you can see it, but that there, right there, I'm gonna get some water and then it's still a half hour to my sleeping place, but the sun lasts time one hour and it's gone. Let's see if I can make it on time this time. This is three liters, so that means it's also three kilos. This is going to be my uh, third night walking in the dark, I see. This time it's not that far. <laughs> I've said that before. I cannot believe this. 
This is so beautiful. Whoa. Dude. Again, I walked in the dark, but uh, looking at this waking up doesn't matter. Morning right. Eh? Morning right. Yeah. How's morning? Sorry? I was following your morning. Good. I uh I was sleeping here in my tent, but I know it's not allowed, but uh wow. <laughs> all the all the Spanish people I talk to are like well. <laughs> Don't worry. Somebody, you know, cares about it. You, you uh, I'm making YouTube videos. You're on the video. You, you oh, mind? hey. <laughs> thanks, for, nice. thanks for the info. Have a nice day. You're welcome. Have a great day. Yeah, bu buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> So basically, you're not allowed to camp here in in the wild in the parks. But uh, all the Spanish people I talk to are like, if you, if you camp out of sight, no police is coming, nobody's watching. If you just if you leave the animals alone, which the cows, these cows are not afraid of me. I was uh, asking them not to shit on my stuff because um, it would be nasty. But uh, that guy that just came by, the same. I said, like, I was camping here. He was like, so what? <laughs> so, I guess uh, it's an official rule, but unofficially you just can't. I don't recommend it to anyone, because if you get caught and it's on me, no. My last egg. I have my last egg, my last part of battery. I need to find a place to charge, shower, get some food. A little bit of egg whites is good for the muscle eggs. This is uh, night four in the wild and day five and I feel surprisingly rested. It's not what I would expect but it, it is true. Um, but uh, I'm on my last food like I said, my last battery. So I need to find somewhere, uh, I'd like a shower as well. I need to find somewhere I can can replenish my stuff, my food, my, my battery. And uh, I was looking for a train station because I want to go further south, further to my destination in Barcelona. But I have to go back uh, because uh, the other side is uh, it's going to be a long way. Um, I don't really want to go back, but I do want to show you guys what I saw last night in the dark. Something I could not get on camera. So you guys are going to have to see that in the daylight. Coming through this fence in the dark yesterday was um, left some uh, oh left some dark ambience like you're entering forbidden forest. This has a really eerie feeling in the no in the dark in, in, at night. I I don't do it for fun walking at night, but uh, I kind of like uh, pushing myself, I guess. Look at this. Walking downhill is a lot faster, but it's not easier. You use a lot of different muscles. I'm glad this is asphalt. My legs are so tired. Yeah. I asked for it. I'm not complaining, but I'm just telling you guys. It just is the way it is. And this might be the last night I, uh, I sleep in the wild. Let's see. Let's see if I can uh, manage some more. But uh, I'm moving into the 
to the uh, the known world, more villages and cities, and uh, I don't think people like it when I'm I'm camping in their uh, backyard. I should learn from my previous uh, time walking around in northern France and uh, now in northern Spain. I ended up with a jumper's knee because I pushed myself too far and my legs are screaming for rest. So I'm looking for a place to sleep. I'm looking for a place to sleep and I found one nearby. It's not a camping. I'm gonna show you. Behind me is the train station and I want to go tomorrow but on top of this is a hotel. I've looked everywhere. This one is cheaper than even the campings here. So I can charge my phone, relax my, my body a bit. And then tomorrow, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We'll see. No word on the street was there is a festival, but I didn't expect this. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. Thanks for the support. Uh, part two will be uploaded next week. I won't be making a video about Barcelona because I'm with my friends, but uh, I'm already in part two. So uh, watch for part two next week. See ya.